Hello booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with an Amish Reads recommendation video. So next week from the 22nd to the 28th of April, Elizabeth from Lizzie Fay Book from Lizzie Fay Loves Books and I are hosting the Amish in April Readathon. We did this last year. A lot of you guys seem to really enjoy it and I am really looking forward to doing it again this year. Um, I do really enjoy reading some of the Amish books. They are not just romance, which I think is what a lot of people think when they think of these kind of books. There are There is a great variety of Amish type stories. So I have five books here that I'm going to recommend to you. And then I've got five authors that I wanna to recommend to you. So if you're not too sure exactly where you wanna start looking, um, if you're gonna participate with us, of course I'm gonna leave my um, uh, the announcement video in the description box below so you can check that out because I also give you guys my TBR of the books that I'm going to be reading this month um, or for the readathon. So if you're interested, those books, you know, if they sound good to you as well, so there's some more recommendations. But I did want to talk about some books here just to give you guys um, some suggestions and some ideas. Now, I haven't read a ton of Amish themed books, but um, these ones, some of these ones I have read. Some of these, um, the authors I am familiar with, all of them. And I will admit that two, I think, three of these books I actually haven't read, but one of them comes highly recommended and the other two, there are reasons why I'm recommending them. So the first book that I want to talk about is called The Forgotten Recipe by a uh, Amy Clipston. This is the first book in an Amish heirloom series. This is a romance novel. So these, uh, it's a four, four or five book series and these are all available as part of the Audible Romance Package. And these are about four sisters who um, each book is about a different sister. And so I'm recommending the first book, but you could pick up any of the books in this series and read them. And this first book, um, the sister's first uh, love, if you will, um, actually tragically dies. And she's got to kind of learn to move on and, and find new love. And the whole series, like I said, centers around these four sisters and this old trunk that their mother has and how each of them has kind of a different skill set, if you will, like she's the baker. So she has this roadside stand where she sells her pies and things like that. So yeah, this was a really cute, very, very sweet story, of course. Um, you know, you're not going to get any kind of adult content or anything like that in any of these books. Um, any really, any Amish type themed book. Uh, but yeah, this one was really enjoyable and I absolutely do recommend it. The next one is one that I have not read yet, but um, I have this series on my radar and I do want to get to it eventually. Um, it was funny when I was putting this recommendations list together, I came across this book and I thought, oh shoot, I wanted to read one of these for Amish in April this year. And that's what I had said when I came across these books like late last year. But say la vie, I'll have to make a note to do it for next year. And this one is Murder Simply Brewed by uh, Vanetta Champin, or Campin, excuse me. And this is book number one in an Amish village mystery series. So this is a cozy mystery series set around a cafe that is owned by some Amish people. And, you know, again, cozy mystery. It's going to be very, very sweet, I'm sure. It just sounds really interesting. The one that really drew me in this, again, I'm recommending the first book just because it is the first in the series. But there's another one about knitting, which, of course, right up my alley. Um, but, yeah, these ones sound really sweet and adorable. And, you know, again, they don't just have to be romance, and that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Um, the next one is one that, that I read last year for um, Amish in April. And this was Murder in Plain Sight by Marta Perry. This is book number one in the Brotherhood of the Raven series. Now, this series takes place in Amish country, but doesn't necessarily have Amish main characters. And this book does delve a bit darker than a cozy mystery series. Again, the adult content, the, you know, the, the love scenes, if you will, are not present. But if I'm trying to remember if any of them happen behind closed doors, I don't think so. I, I think that aspect of this uh, romantic suspense, if you will, was completely out of it. There is a romantic suspense element where there is a couple that ends up together at the end of the book, but this is much more about the mystery and it's about uh, a young Amish boy who's been accused of murdering um, a local girl. And, you know, the story kind of goes from there. Again, this one gets darker than a typical cozy mystery because it's not a cozy mystery, but really good. Marta Perry, I'm reading another Marta Perry this, this, this year for Amish in April and I really do like her writing and I highly recommend it. The next one, this is the one that I have not personally read but has come highly recommended. My mother, I was mentioning this to her last weekend that we were doing this and she's like, have you read Plain Truth by Jodi Picot? And I'm like, no. She goes, that's such a good Amish mystery. So uh, this is listed as a contemporary fiction novel but I believe 
it is actually a it takes place in Amish country again our main characters are not Amish I cannot speak on any adult content in these books or anything like that all my mother told me was that it was fantastic so again if you're looking for something more uh, mainstream uh, in in Amish fiction and you have not read this one and you're a fan of Jodi Picoult I believe this is an older one of hers when I was at the thrift store this last week I kept looking for this book to see if there was a you know a used copy somewhere for me to pick up but I couldn't find it they had tons of other Jodi Picoult but not this one so I might have to hunt this one down online um, and uh, and read it there but it won't be for this year but you know I don't necessarily just have to read Amish books for Amish in April I could read this anytime throughout the year but this is one I definitely need to get uh, eventually get to and the last one I want to recommend is actually by Susan Wiggs and this is Between You and Me and this is listed as a contemporary romance novel and it does take place in Amish country and I'm recommending this one a it's Amish and B it's Susan Wiggs I love Susan Wiggs writing some of her books are not as good as others, but overall, I have never had a problem with her writing. I have never disliked one of her novels. I, I could probably read her grocery list and be completely happy with it. But then again, I am a fan of hers. So if you are also a fan of hers, maybe check this one out. I have not heard a lot about this one. I don't know whether it slipped under the radar. It came out a couple years ago, but um, it sounds really, really good. And yeah, absolutely, I'm going to recommend this one to you guys. Again, all these books will be linked or listed in the description box below. So if you want to go ahead and, and, you know, check them out on your own time, please do feel free to do so. Um, and now, like I said, I'm just going to give you guys a couple of authors. Um, different, um, I think I've got one, two, three. I do have five authors here to recommend to you. The first one is Amanda Flower, and she actually writes cozy mystery series. She has, I think, four that I've seen. Two of them are Amish related, and two of them are actual magical. So talk about like splitting it just a little bit, you know what I mean? But the two Amish ones that she has are the Amish Candy Shop Mysteries, which I am going to be reading the first one for this year, um, which is A Salted Caramel, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Our main character is not Amish, but she works in a candy shop owned by her Amish grandparents. That's in Amish country. So obviously it fits the category. And the other one is called Apple, Apple Seed? Apple Seed Creek, which is just labeled as like a cozy mystery series. So I guess these mysteries all take place in the same little Amish community. So sounds like a lot of fun. She looks like a great author. The other four authors that I want to recommend to you guys all write for the Love Inspired or Love Inspired Suspense line. If you are looking for a short, quick read for an Amish book, definitely check out the Love Inspired line and the Love Inspired Suspense line. Every month they put out at least one or two Amish books a piece. Um, it's funny as I was like putting these this list together, I was looking at all these Amish books and I'm like, I am pretty sure there are more Amish characters in these books than there are actual Amish people currently residing in the US and Canada. Um, so here are just some of my recommendations. I have read these authors in the past. I don't remember exactly which books. I'd have to go back and look on my Goodreads, but I just thought I'd recommend these ones to you. Emma Miller is extremely prolific, prolific when it comes to Amish romance. She writes for the Love Inspired line. And she writes a long-standing series called Hannah's Daughters and another series called um, An Amish Mystery is actually what it's called. So these, you know, like I said, she has written a ton. Pretty much it looks like a book a month um, under the Amish category in the Love Inspired uh, line. So definitely go ahead and check her out. Another word, is, another one is Cheryl, sorry, I'm moving my tablet around, Cheryl Williford. Now I read her book, one of her books last year. And I really liked it. She writes a, it's a two book series called Pinecraft. And this is an actual Amish community in Florida. And that's what kind of really struck me. I think most of us have this preconceived notion that Amish people live in Pennsylvania, you know, the Pennsylvania Dutch kind of an idea. And, you know, or in that kind of an area. But to hear of this community in Florida, I, I ended up having to look it up when I was done reading it because it was just so different. And it was really, really well written and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think she's written a lot, but if you're interested in something just a little bit, you know, I mean, reading an Amish book is not necessarily in everybody's wheelhouse, but if you want to take it that one step further, this was, a, her books were really fun. Um, the next one is uh, Dana R. Lynn. And I read one of her books in December. Um, it was an Amish Christmas emergency, I think. And she has written um, two series called Amish Country Justice, which is what that book was part of a series of. I have the cover of that book up here for you guys. And then Amish Witness Protection Now. 
that one's written by several different authors, not just her. So, but these are all about people who are hiding out in Amish country. So, you know, I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun. And the last one is Carrie Light. And she has written quite a bit. She doesn't have any series, but she writes a lot of standalones for the Love Inspired line. But it said in her author profile that she actually goes and visits these Amish communities all over the US and she's looking to, to come up to Canada and visit some of them too. And I didn't realize that we had Amish communities up here. I, I mean, I guess maybe I should have, but I'm totally interested in seeing if, if any of you guys know of any Amish books that are set in Canada. I would love to know that because that's something I would definitely have to put on my list. Because I am Canadian, I know this is kind of going a little bit off topic and I do apologize, but I'd like to maybe in July for Canada Day to do like a Canadian read-along of like maybe Canadian romances, you know? So I don't know, just something to think about. But anyway, if you guys do know of any, please do let me know. And if you guys have any suggestions of any other Amish themed books that would be appropriate to other people or, you know, people might like their recommendations, please post them in the comments below. So if you're looking for more suggestions, please go check out the comments and maybe other people will recommend some some other great books. But anyway, I do hope that you guys will join Elizabeth and I for Amish in April. I am super looking forward to it. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Take care and happy reading, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.